You know how um, wasabi <laughs> is just, I love doing this to you. You know how wasabi is uh, just a reason to get wasabi, oh, no, sushi is a reason to get wasabi into mm. your life. Yeah. And like anything that you put karashi on is just, a, like Odin is a reason to have karashi in mm-hmm. your life. Yeah. Are bagels just a reason to have cream cheese in your life? Cream cheese is pretty good, but I think bagels are also pretty, but I also mm. think sushi is good. I don't like Odin. But uh, other things have karashi, like yeah, no, no, no. Katsu, yeah, I, I understand the concept. Like, yeah, you you you're eating the entire meal because you want the topping. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I think you might be onto something with yeah. the uh, with the bagels. So today is day four of our biking trip, and it is day one of the second decade of our marriage. So we are in a fancy hotel that we had talked about uh, previously, and the fancy hotel has a lot of you get because you come in a fancy hotel, you get a lot of weird hangups, and we've come across a weird hangup today that so, is something you wouldn't expect from a fancy hotel. Yesterday we bought some bagels at the bakery in the morning. I was like, oh, I really wanted to eat some bagels, and these don't seem like shitty bagels. They're not the best, but they're they're good. Mm-hmm. I thought we'll get cream cheese from a supermarket close to the hotel, which is surprisingly not that hard to find in Japan. Cream cheese is kind of a thing. Yeah, yeah. So cream cheese wasn't a problem. But this morning, I'm up and I'm getting ready to do my bagel cream cheese situation. How do you get it on the bagel? So at first, I thought I walked around the room and was like, what can I MacGyver here so I don't have to talk to anyone? Basically, like, how are we going to spread it? We don't have a knife. Yeah, we don't have a knife or a spoon or a fork or any utensil at all. Um, so I, I have some chopsticks. There was chopsticks in the fridge. There's just a spare set of chopsticks in the fridge. Sorry, that that doesn't matter. Um, so I, I go around the room and I don't find anything that I'm like, this is going to work really well. Mm-hmm. Um, so I decided I'd just call the front desk. Mm-hmm. So I call them and I'm like, And they said something that didn't indicate to me that anything was going to happen. And I was like, Nani? And they said, Nai. So this this thirty eight floor luxury hotel can't give us a knife. <laughs> you know, if you were staying at like some ring ding, yeah, like two thousand yen, like a they'd knife. have a kitchen, or and they, I could just walk in and there if and they get didn't, that shit you'd myself. You'd ask them, they'd get you a knife somehow. Yes. A knife would appear. These people have. And there's a restaurant. There's a restaurant in this hotel. And if they didn't, samurai sword to the stomach. <laughs> but I'd be like, yo, whoa, 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 whoa! I could use that. Yeah. <laughs> Good tie so, in. I have taken a clothespin. <laughs> you could use the qu- the key card for the door. No, I, I I went through and I was like, Eric's gonna call me gross on <laughs> that. That would be gross. Eric is gonna joking. go. That's gross. This so, isn't a whole lot better. I took the clothespin <laughs> and I've taken it apart. You hold it with this end. You get your cheese. You can slice into the cheese, no problem. And then you can take your bagel. And that, it's, you've, that you've ripped in half with your hands. Yes, I had to. Well, I used the clothespin a little bit. And then you eat it. <laughs> so, this is very much what it's like being with me. This is luxury. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can't tell what kind of bagel this is. I have no idea. It's a clothespin bagel. I think it's uh, basil. But it tastes kind of cinnamony, which is weird. Mm. On our way out of our uh, fancy hotel experience, and I found something that I'm not sure is. Do you think this is a thing that exists? I'm having out- trouble right now. <laughs> does this <laughs> does this exist outside of Japan, or is this no. this feels super Japanese to I've, me? I've never seen. Um, so this. out next to where we have our bikes parked, there is just you know out front of front doors, there is this thing, and this is an umbrella rack, so that you don't have to take your umbrellas inside. And the way that it works is, uh, oh, hey, good, there's an umbrella over here. The way that it works is if you have an umbrella and you want to put it into the rack, you choose wherever you're going to put it. And then you put the umbrella into the rack and then close this little door and then push this button and it gives you this key. And nobody can take your umbrella. But the container outside is for people to take an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, is like, what if you lose your little key? Because I bet these things get lost like on the always. So, then you put your little key in, it unlocks, and your umbrella is now free. You need to put that person's umbrella back. It, it wasn't locked in. That, 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 that's the, this is everybody's umbrella. Ah, oh, <laughs> take it with. <laughs> that's how that works, yeah? Yep.
we're on the pedal ponies and today we get to ride for a little bit directly along the coast and this is not a uh, this is not a bad view at all We're now getting around to the point where we're gonna loop around the very southern tip of the very southern basin of the lake. And there's another bridge that's right here that runs across. It cuts off about five kilometers or so. But we just realized that if you did that, you'd be losing what is part of the best riding that we've done so far in the sense of just getting to ride along the coast and cherry blossom trees and all of that stuff. So if you do do this, do the entire thing. Don't cut off this five kilometers. Kilometers. <laughs> Don't cut off this five kilometers just because you see a bridge and you think, oh, maybe I could go a little faster. It's worth going around the tip. Just the tip. The tip matters. You know you're getting close to the Kyoto area because you start seeing architecture like this kind of bridge. Going across that looks like it's going to be a pretty good time. If you can find somebody we know <laughs> scooting across at the moment. Since we have crossed the southern tip, the bike ride has gotten kind of kind of boring, would you say? Uh, I've actually really been enjoying it because it's boring in the sense that there isn't a whole lot to stop and look at and talk about and things like that, but I'm Get really feeling, yeah, I'm getting my grind on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Getting it's a, a day four groove. Getting in a groove, yeah, yeah. there you go, that's the right, that's the right verb. And uh, kind of one of the first things that we've come across that I felt like was noteworthy is this big thing behind us, the, the St. Louis arch thing. Yeah. All of a sudden we're in another place. And I think we're outside of a museum or something. I don't know if it's like a trick art museum or if it's a real museum. There are pictures of elephants and stuff, but it's not a zoo. So I feel oh. like maybe trick wow, art museum. Wow, you picked up a lot more on anything to do with this. Yeah. I just didn't look around at all. In this little area, has got the typical dead fountain in Japan. You know what I'm saying? Like our towns all have these little dead fountains where there's no water in them anymore for some reason. That's where we've stopped for a moment to try to figure out maybe where we're gonna land for lunch yep. because it's like 11 o'clock now and I'm pretty hungry. Those bagels wasn't enough for me. I, I agree I'm, that I'm, we needed more fuel for the fire. I'm about to jump into a couple of emergency peanuts. Ah, uh, wise move. Mm. It is time for ramen, which I'm pretty shocked that this hasn't already happened on the trip, but there's been a lot of other things to eat and special moments to have pizza, so <laughs> ramen's been put on the back burner. We are kind of at a nondescript. It's definitely a chain. I looked up whether it's in Tokyo, and it's not in the 23 coups, so we couldn't have this, like, sitting at home. So that leaned me towards having it. They have cheese gyoza, which is disgustingly exciting. Uh, very, very much excited about that. I'm gonna have a cheese gyoza right now. And usually you make a little sauce for your gyoza, but in this case, I think that I'm just gonna go in raw. Yeah, we, we've gone sauceless for a moment. Um, all right. They got some spicy uh, flakes on top. Oh yeah, that's cheese. Wrap that around. Bink, 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 bink. It's really good. It's like, horrible but shouldn't be it shouldn't be that good but it's pretty good mm -hmm. goes is just like what how is this like spring roll kind of type thing with a yeah. soft shell it gets yaki and then in this case they put, i've never seen it with cheese on it or can't remember having seen it with cheese on it it might be good with like ta like a tare sauce Oh uh, yeah, there was like gyoza dare mm. over there. Um, yeah. I would say this is good fuel for the fire. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, and then I got a bowl of tonton men. I feel like it's gotten really popular in the last few years. I think I've been saying that for a few years now, but I didn't see it much when we first moved here, and I feel like I see it all the time now. And it's always like the special thing. It's not on the main menu. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's what this was. It was like their special thing. I want to do something fun for a moment. I, I've been like posting pictures about my ramen on my Facebook and stuff like that, but I've also been looking at um, ramen on Tabulogu a lot. And what people will do is they will post pictures of their ramen, but they'll also post pictures of this aspect, where they lift their noodles up, and it's called the men rifdo. 
<laughs> you have to do it too. Okay. Menlisto. Menlisto. <laughs> Those are our noodles. They're kind of a thin noodle, which isn't necessarily my favorite, but you gotta take it how they want to give it to you. So the tonton men has got a spice on it that kind of makes your mouth go numb, and it's it's a fun thing. And I, I I always kind of sell myself out and just get it instead of like something else. Like there's a lot of different things on the menu, and I'm always like, well, I'll get the tonton men because I really do like it quite a lot. Mm. You just got the regular like ramen. Here. I look for whatever seems to be their jam, and whatever their jam is is what I get. It's good, and I mean, it feels it feel so good. It's a little cloudy today, a little windy today, and I think that this is like the perfect meal to complement that. It gets a bit chilly, etc. you know what I mean? Mm. And then all that energy and stuff that you put up, that yeah. bicycling, this is just really like, it's just a perfect meal. Straight talk, noodles are overcooked. Are they? Yep. Mm. Broth mm. is very vegetable-y. I thought it was gonna be kind of a tonkatsu. Um, intense broth, but it would, has more of like a vegetable base. I would say that in general, if you come to Japan and you haven't ever had tontonmen before, and you're okay with some spicy food, you've got to try it. It's really unique. It's like, most people tend to not know what it is either, like, you know, they are visiting or whatever. It's like a specifically, you know what I mean? Like, I, I just don't feel like everybody, like, that comes is, like, aware. I don't know how you get those out of there. Yeah, I know. I guess you just use just another a, set of, you, another another set set of, of hot sheets. Sheets. We've never seen this on a table. There are umeboshi just chilling on there. And I'm going to go ahead and take one and put it to the side so I don't forget to Can you, uh, finish take, my meal one and put it to the with, side here? with that goodness. Yeah. Um, very exciting. That, that normally is not something that happens. <laughs> mm. Ume boshi tabe hodai. That's like a whole, a whole bin. It's a honey pot. <laughs> Alright, let's eat. I'm not sure what happened here when we were filming, but there's a big piece of Katie talking about her lunch that's just missing. I don't have the footage. Probably what happened is that we pushed the record button wrong and didn't realize it. But anyways, she had like a garlicky soup and had talked about the density of the noodles and then we stopped the recording and then we started another recording of her talking more about it so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense in context but i'll let you see what we got and uh you can just imagine what we don't got I've gotta walk myself back a little bit yes in my opinion those noodles are overcooked but there's a sign here that allows you to customize your ramen to like six different ways. You can decide whether you want hard noodles or soft noodles. And whenever asked, I'm always down with a hard noodle. But other things that you can... <laughs> that, my darling, <laughs> is what she said. And I did. Um, other things that you can customize are like the slicing of the meat that's on top, the chashu, like how thick that is. And that's amazing, I've never seen that. I liked the way they cut mine. It was cut kind of like a deli cut and it was breaking apart in my food. And I'm in love with this place. I <laughs> really like it. The atmosphere, the taste. This was really garlicky and I'm sure you're gonna enjoy my breath for the rest of the day. Um, I'm doing a good job of uh, I'm gonna get a melon soda. No, no melon soda, please. <laughs> what a threat. That's like the worst threat. You're gonna ride behind me. <laughs> Which you already do most of the time. Not not because you're slow, because I'm slow and then we stay together. <laughs> Pedaling along, keep seeing two signs that are making me laugh. The first one, this says golfing is restricted, which I think is funny because our golfer is known to be like a rambunctious group. <laughs> Usually, you know, skateboarding or whatever is restricted. Don't, don't, don't skateboard here. This one is golfing because they got a bunch of like loosey goosey golfers coming. <laughs> and the other sign that I've seen over and over and over is this guy. And this is a really upset looking frog. And it says, um, gomi mochi kaeru, which means take your trash home with you. Like, don't leave any trash here. And it's a bit of a play on words because kaeru is the word in Japanese for frog. So that's why they've used this character or whatever. I'm getting attacked by spiderwebs, y'all. Let me tell you what. But yeah, anyway, he looks grumpy. Maybe it's because he's covered in spiderwebs. <laughs> I know we pedaled a long way, but I don't know if we pedaled far enough to see an American flag, y'all. <laughs> So the notable thing about this log cabin here is it is called the Miami, like as in Miami, campgrounds. Miami, log cabins, Japan, American flag, it's a very confused location. <sighs> the wind is no joke. 
Like I've been going like on a flat out area with no wind. I'm doing like 30 kilometers an hour or whatever according to my trip computer, which for a dude who doesn't bike, I think it's pretty decent. And then the wind kicks up and the terrain stays the same and all of a sudden I'm doing 12. That's how much difference it makes. It's brutal. And then on top of that, I had a hill. And I don't know where Katie is. She's somewhere. <laughs> She's somewhere back there. But I have no idea how far back there she is. Whew. This is a workout, y'all. My butt cheeks are really sore. <laughs> Got nothing to do with the wind. Go and take a break. <laughs> We are not 100% sure on the logistics of this, but if you look out over my shoulder right there, I'm using this hand to block the wind, sorry. Um, over my shoulder right there, you can see a little island and it's actually the biggest island in the lake and it's called, I think, Old Jima, which means big island. And we think we can go there. So we're gonna try to go there, but we're worried we might be running low on time and maybe the boats aren't running. We haven't really checked. It's kind of on the way anyway, so we'll check when we get to the port. Our pedals are snowing down upon me. We are closing in on the boat port. So here's the hoping that we will be able to find a boat that is moving today. There's people that live on the island, so I kind of assume it's gonna be a thing, but you never know. We had made it to the port, and when we got here, a boat had left 15, five minutes ago. It was very- 15 minutes before we got here, yeah. The next boat is an hour and 45 minutes from the moment in which we arrived. So we were like, okay, we'll go to the island. We'll check it out. Um, so we sat we down- We even started looking for like a hotel. Like on the little and island. found out that there are two hotels and I'm halfway through booking one of them. Hmm. Um, and then? <laughs> and then I started reading the signs on the, on the wall. And there are certain things like here's a big map and there's the few things that are there. And just for an idea of how big this island is, I said like walk from the one end of the path on the island to the other end of the path on the island, which is not the entire island on Google Maps. And it was like 20 minutes. So it's like, this is a small place. There's like two hotels, two places to eat, et cetera, et cetera, that kind of thing. So anyways, I started looking at some of the signs and there's a bunch of signs, like these pretty fun, pretty signs. And by the way, earlier I said it was Old Jima, but it's actually Okijima, Okishima, Okijima which means like sea island there's this, this some some artwork that some kid made and then i started reading this sign and this sign is a problem for us because this sign says that um the people who live on the island are asking people not to come to the island right now for tourist purposes and for fishing and things like that like please refrain from coming and it says that the um the folks that live on the island are of an advanced age so a lot of the people that live there are older so they're trying to keep the virus from spreading over in that direction so in the uh, sense of social distancing and the, 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 the practice of social distancing and respecting the sign and stuff, I think we are going to avoid going to this little island, even though I really want to go to this little island. It would have yeah. been awesome to stay on this little island tonight. But we're going to have to put that onto the back burner and do that on another day. Because, or like in another year. Yeah, in another or, year, yeah, another year or yeah. something. Uh, um, because yeah, I mean, obviously, if there's if there's, if there's an old folks compound over there, I don't want to be responsible, and I'm, you know, you just don't want to look like a jerk either, you know. Even though I don't think I've got the, I don't think I have the COVIDs, feeling pretty good, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but you know, you got to be careful with that, that. So and not only like you got to respect people's wishes. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. And if they've put up a sign, they put up a sign. And the first question I asked was, when was that sign put up? And um, there's no date so... on it, but if it's still up. Somebody's coming and tending to this on yeah. the daily. Yeah. It, it, it's clean in here. So I get the feeling that that'll be taken down when they're ready. Yeah. But they're not ready. And they don't want grandma to get hurt. And I don't want, I don't grandma, want grandma to get, to get hurt. hurt either. So let's figure something else out to do. Yes. We are at a point though where we will make it, tomorrow will be our last day cycling and we will make it pretty easily Yeah. to the end goal. So we aren't in a massive hurry or anything. And, um, 
after all that wind, I'm not that eager to like ride a long distance. So well, the closest to hotel is another 10k. So <laughs> the, the the island was the easiest hotel to get to. That, that's why I was like gunning for. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna stay on the on the island because I'm I'm cool with not riding my bike for a little while. I have bad news. Oh, is it that you're gonna be you're riding, gonna be riding a bike? Yeah, you are. Well, there's there's a like handicap cart out there. I can do that <laughs> instead. I can hot wire it. <laughs> Katie has been booking oh, some. You scared me, son. What, what, what happened? What? I thought something was coming. You think I wasn't here? <laughs> no. <laughs> what, what? What happened? You were just talking a second ago. <laughs> so. No, no, no. I knew you were here, but the way you said my name sounded oh. like uh, you were warning me of oh. something. Oh. Uh, okay, my bad. It's uh, a good video. Katie has been booking the hotel for the evening. Since we aren't going over to the island, we're going to book another hotel elsewhere. That is all taken care of. And I've been looking at the plethora of posters and stuff that are on the back of the wall here. And um, I found uh, I found this one. And I like this one specifically. Um, it says, uh, Umi nashi ken no rito okijima. Uh, okishima? I don't remember. <laughs> I, is, it, is it shima or jima? I don't never know if that changes, you know what I'm saying? But um, the, the cool part about this is the umi nashi ken no rito. And that basically means like um, the isolated island uh, of the prefecture which has no ocean. Because this prefecture is landlocked except it has this giant lake in the middle of it. And then inside of the lake is this island. And I think this is the only island that is populated. I think the other island is just like a couple of shrines and stuff. But I'm not, don't, 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 don't. Uh, if this comes up on Jeopardy and it's like a double daily for you, don't go by my data. <laughs> I could pick it up first, but I think that's a The factual. daily double. The daily double, what I call it? A, a, a double, double daily? daily. Whatever, yeah. man, it's all good. I'm gonna have some double stuff Oreos next. <laughs> I'd, I'd like that. All right, I think the ferry just arrived, by the way. <laughs> what? Yeah, I, there's a boat coming, but I think we gotta go. Mm. So uh, it's Fika time and we found a little fruit shack on the side of the road basically and they've got a bunch of vegetables and fruits and things like that. It's not a Michi no Eki, but it's a little place where there's fruit and stuff. And it seems a little like more a... local than that, even even more local than the Michi no Eki. Yeah, it, it, it definitely feels really local, but it's right along the, uh, the line for the, the riders. Line. Yeah. So it, and it's pretty well situated. All this noise that you're hearing is the plastic walls in the building shaking because it's incredibly windy where we are. And I remembered looking up the wind on the other side of the lake um, for Friday and it was like, oh, it'll be great. But if you had looked up for this side of the lake, you would have <laughs> realized you are fucked. <laughs> so it's a brutal ride right now. But we've got a few things. We got a couple of coffees, and we got some snacks, and we got what I'm most excited about is the puddings, which is what Katie How do you has get been into the pudding? working just... on. Um, and one is a caramel, and one is a plain, and they're in little like jugs, like um, kind of what you would think of like a, a milk, old milk jugs. Mm. Is kind of what it feels like. And mine's it's... caramel and yogurt. Though. Oh, is it? Yeah. And I think so mine I think is, yours just is pudding. Just pudding. 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 And I, pudding is something that I've fallen in love with recently. I talk about it all the time. I've been having it a lot at sushi places. I know that sounds crazy. Ooh, this is this is. Pudding. I want to keep these. This is a really cool thing to have booze in in the future. It's okay. really cute. You can hold those, huh? Um, okay, and then you open this. It's kind of like a, a wonky look at top. You just pop the top and then put the thing in your pocket so it doesn't blow away. And then, did you use your spoon to dig out? The th There's like a, a paper thingy in there, right? I'm doing that thing. You gotta cover your face. Hold on, I'll cover your face too. And then it'll focus. You won't see humans going through this all the time. Anyways, it's got a paper thing. Um, and it says, Gyunu uh, san no pudding. So, the Mr. Milk. I don't have nails. All right, so here's the situation. You need to notice the amount of room that you have, mm -hmm. then take the bottom of your spoon and push it towards the side, and oh. now you're in. Oh, that was a really- Look at that engineering feat. This spoon is accurately sized to go in there. Okay. 
Oh man, but now I've got, <laughs> I've got jisms all over my hands. I would say that you did not eat like an adult today. You did it. No. You pushed no, that into no, my thing. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, we'll take a mm -mm. fucking review, mm -mm. review the footage. We will. And we'll find out <laughs> you that you did some stupid and shit and got it all over your hands. Oh, that was a really... Look at that engineering feat. This spoon is accurately sized. Yeah. Okay, it is nice how well that fits, though. Yep. Um, so I like to get down and I like to get a little bit of a mix on to be I'm real. I'm just going for the, the froth. The bottom has got some, some, some stuff. Okay. And uh, to what? What are we going for today? To... To not hurting the island. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Wow. That it's is so some, good. That's like sour cream. But you just got the top. Mm -hmm. You didn't get any of the caramel. Oh my god. Yeah. This is really good. I feel like we're gonna end up in Oz. <laughs> or like a cow is gonna fly by and it won't be surprising at all. No. Um, and then the other thing we got is we've got these little sembe. And they are peanut flavored sembe. And I love when I find these. They're kind of a rarity that you come across these. Um, so it's a treat. And we got a little bag of them here. It was less of a mystery to open than those. And they're super thin. Uh, so it's like a little rice, it's, I don't know, somebody's rice cracker, but I don't know if this is considered a rice cracker, but I mean like you turn this guy sideways and he disappears. Yeah, it says senbei. <laughs> yeah. Um, it says they used um, shinsen tamago. For some reason I know I'm, I've got to be wrong about this. Fresh, it must be fresh eggs, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it uses fresh eggs from, from local chickens. Mm -hmm. Chica chickens. Well, it's got a picture of a duck on the package. <laughs> they lay eggs. I like that the, the little duck is there and it's a, that's where they put the peanuts in, like the peanut flavor on the duck. <laughs> And then it talks about fresh eggs. I don't know why a duck's involved in this at all. No, he's just a marketing expert. Yeah. <laughs> They're all right. They, they, they don't stand up with that pudding, though. Well, let me show you something. What you gots to do is mix them. Oh, yeah. I don't know about that. I think you're ruining them. No. Let it sog in for a second. Anticipation. <laughs> Little cans of coffee as well. We got out of a vending machine, 100 yen a piece or something. They're fine. They're standard jams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was it good? Let me have a bite. Sell Re me on it. Rewind why we <laughs> should talk about this. <laughs> sell me. And then sell also, come on, sell also, me on this biscuit. No, no, no. You can have some of this biscuit if you admit you got that shit on <laughs> I your hand. <laughs> I got you got it. I got it on my hand, but you got it on the spoon. I don't know if we've improved the two ingredients. Uh -huh. I don't know if I agree with them. A lot of disagreements going on <laughs> in this video. The 11th, the 11th year is difficult. Roll the footage back. <laughs> because my hands weren't dirty. <laughs> we're on the final seven kilometers or so of the day and we're cutting across, of course, a rice paddy. Because that's what you end up doing in Japan. You cut across rice patties. This just looks amazing, dude. <laughs> directions puts you into an interesting place and <laughs> you end up in somebody's backyard. You're gonna walk this one? Too narrow for safety? Nah. I put my feet up higher. So, just the most 
<laughs> this doesn't. This this looks pretty awkward, too, dude. Yeah. But I'd rather be awkward already committing to gravity as opposed to any other way. <laughs> you got a duck thing going on here. Yeah. Can you come and hold my bike? Yeah. I need to readjust this strap. It sucks. I don't understand that. <laughs> That's to keep your pant leg from going into the chain? Is that the situation? Yeah. But my pant leg already went into the chain once. But that's when I wasn't wearing it. So now I've been wearing it, but it just falls down a lot. Okay, we go down this road to that curve. Where we have landed tonight has a few restaurants and we went to the one that looks like it's like the Japanese style like kind of like a bar type of vibe but they make um they make uh meals and stuff like teishoku meals and stuff and we we're like okay this place looks pretty legit and we popped in there and the place was completely packed like there was no there was no sitting in there so they were like uh we can see one person but not two and we were like well there's two of us so it's not gonna work so then we went to a place that um had like vegan sandwiches and then she was like, we only do vegan sandwiches for lunchtime. We don't, we don't do anything that is like not a sweet treat for dinner, which is a bizarre way of going about things. But anyways, okay, we were like, all right. So we came to the, the next place, like up down the road and it was a pizza place. And it says that it is a Chicago pizza factory and it seems like a chain for sure. It just got the chain by and they've got a bunch of like little delivery cars and it's only a delivery place. Like there's no place to sit inside. So it's kind of like Little Caesars, I guess it's kind of like that, right? Um, but they, but Little Caesars probably doesn't deliver in these cute little, <laughs> cute little cars or uh, scooters. The difference is Little Caesars is really cheap. This place is pretty expensive, and I love that it's called Chicago because it's not Chicago style pizza at all. Like not at all. Like, <laughs> this would make somebody from Chicago angry, probably. Um, they've got a bunch of different pizzas here, and the prices are kind of crazy. This is kind of the prices that you get from pizza chains and stuff. And this is where Japan starts to get kind of a bad reputation for pizza. But we're gonna eat it because there's really nothing else to have. Um, the, so we ended up getting um, a grand, what a, a grand, a grand slam. <laughs> so we're not in, um, we're not in uh, Denny's, but they got a grand slam. And this is because we weeded out the other pizzas that are on special that are actually kind of affordable based on like each thing that they have on them. And the pizzas here are, tend to be split into four pieces. So you get like four different types of pizza, right? Like different toppings or whatever. So like this one has tuna mayo and potato mayonnaise and pepperoni mushroom and sausage and garlic. And the tuna mayo, I'm not into it. So that one's out. And then this one has um, uh, anchovies and that one was out. And then this one just has seafood and garlic, and that one is out. So like, we eliminated it and got to that one. That's the one that I'm willing to have. And we ordered it. It's gonna take them about 25 minutes or so to get the pizza to us. And then we will uh, we'll take it back to our room and we'll eat it there. Uh, but just to give you an idea, uh, the l size pizza that we got, how many, it says somewhere on this huge mess, the size of it. It was like 12 or 12 inches or so, I think. Um, Oh, here we go. Uh, 35 centimeters is for an L. And this one is normally 4,600 yen. <laughs> 4,600 yen, which is like $42 or something. And it's on sale for 3,100 yen. So we spent 3,100 yen on a 35 centimeter pizza. <laughs> um, and it wasn't the most expensive. You can get down in here and like the big, the big boys down here, uh, 3,700 yen, 3,800 yen, 3,900 yen. So you can spend like nearly $40 on a 35 centimeter pizza. <laughs> and it says here that it'll feed, feed four to five people, but like we're like, mm, that's probably not gonna feed four to five people. It's gonna feed two people. And it's gonna be these two people. <laughs> All right, we were back at our hotel and um, <laughs> the way that the pizza situation worked, I ordered at 9.13 and he told me, I'll get you your pizza at 9.40. 
Because they were busy. Like, they had phones going ringing and people were running around. It's Friday and, night. Yeah, it's Friday night. Yeah, people were going. I was like, okay, that's fine. That's no problem. I can wait that long. And then, this is how it always works in Japan. At 9.20, he handed me the pizza. They always overestimate time and then deliver before. Mm. <laughs> like that, this is the best policy. Yeah, and that, that always happens here. Almost about, like, everything. And I was, I was kind of shit-talking the pizza about it. I was like, it's going to be small or whatever. It's actually pretty big. <laughs> Like, it's bigger than I thought. I don't really know centimeters very well in my head. You know what I'm saying? So when I see that, I'm like, oh, I don't know, 35 centimeters, I don't know. So uh, we're getting into the, uh, the Grande Framme. Behind you is my fork. Oh, yes. Let me get that fork. And I don't even remember off the top of my head what was on this. I just know there were no deal breakers. Um, we have potato and bacon. We have mushroom and pepperoni. We have... Sausagey, which is just hot dogs and <laughs> sausage. So there's regular sausage and hot dogs. And then this one is probably teriyaki chicken, but it doesn't look like chicken. Maybe no, it's, it's like a bulgogi or something like that. Oh, yeah, it's a bulgogi. Yeah. And we have another fork. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't know. It, oh. was, it was taped to the top of the salad and we got a little caesar salad and so the pizza which is bigger than i had said earlier plus the salad ended up being 4600 yen after tax wow which is this is one of the most expensive tri uh, meals, meals of the trip <laughs> yeah like this is um us spending a lot uh so you took there's three pieces of each that one's really small okay and this is like it's a pretty it's it's a heavy piece of pizza. Yes. It's not like it's not like it, your Italian style pizza. This is more like an American style pizza for sure. I'm in it for the mushrooms. Are they like canned? No, well, them. Well, they're Japanese canned mushrooms where they're they look better than other mm -hmm. mushrooms I've had. But if mushrooms exist, I'm in it for the mushrooms. This has got mayonnaise on it, and it's great. Mm. <laughs> Which is something. Do we get any wet wipes or? Tissues or we have one. We have one napkin, one napkin that we got from the man downstairs. <laughs> it's okay. The shower is right here. It's not a big deal. Yeah, you're just gonna bathe. Right oh, yeah. There. So they put mayonnaise on pizza a lot, and I think that turns people off. But it's not like it's not like Miracle Whip or whatever. It's like Japanese mayonnaise. It's like QP. I'm so. having a hardcore mixture here. I've got bacon and onions and mushrooms and uh, pepperoni. This is a good mixture. It's kind of junk foody, but it's actually pretty good. And again, it's like, it's like after the bike ride, food is really good. This is Little Caesars quality. Do you really That's think it's that I'm... low? Uh, no, I think it's higher than Little Caesars. Mm. I think that Little Caesars doesn't throw toppings like this hard, do they? And isn't Little Caesars usually kind of thin? This is a thick piece of pizza. I think we got to go back in time. But it's not Domino's. It's not Papa John's. It doesn't have the crispy quality of uh, Pizza Hut. So that's why I put it at. I kind of feel like it's its own thing. And I don't consider Little Caesars to be low. I kind of do. Mm. It's really cheap. I mean, I don't know what it costs now, but it was like we were getting like five dollar pizzas when we first started baking. <laughs> we go but that was their five special bucks. deal that they're already pre-made. Yeah, but I mean, you could still walk out of there with a five dollar. There were no five dollar pizzas back there. Mm. The, the Chicago Gangster Diner or whatever it was called. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I don't know. It's too expensive, is to be completely real. But it's not bad. Mm. It's hitting the spot at the moment. Yeah, because there, we couldn't find any other food. <laughs> oh, there was one other thing I wanted to show. Um, I saw this in the vending machine a couple days ago, and they, it was all out. So that means it's popular. And um, I wanted to try it's one. It's strange. Yeah, it's strange. It's a Kiss Choco Mint drink. And it's like, look at the color. That doesn't inspire. Yeah, you hate that color. Comfort. Anyway, I wanted to try it. And, whoa. It smells like, it smells like that thing. It smells like chocolate ice, Ooh. chocolate mint ice cream. A York peppermint patty. Mm-hmm. Liquid. Ooh, with the carbonation. I don't know if it's good, but it's an interesting experience. Mm. I don't think you'll hate that. 
you might, I don't know, you're all over the map of stuff. Don't hate, don't find it to be something I want to have a whole lot of. Yeah, I would never get another one. But, but I also, a, like, I'm not a Thin Mint girl either, so kind of seems normal for me. Not yeah. to be <laughs> interested in the long term that. All right, pizza time, and I don't know if I have a whole lot more to say. <laughs> nope, time to eat it. All right, pizza's finished, and it was definitely too much pizza. <laughs> like, oh, I feel feel a little stuffed, but feel for the fire. What do you got? I'm gonna eat now. <laughs> um, okay. I just thought we, I would do a quick room tour because this one is especially small. We're just in a business hotel. What is what's the chain called? Uh, A Z N. A Z, like just A and then Z. Yeah, in Japanese it's A Z. Uh, A Z N. Okay. I didn't even process it, but the staff was really nice downstairs and mm -hmm. the check-in process was nice and it's not luxurious so you don't have to deal with all these weird little loopholes that you have to jump through and they had a fork and everything was great. So, uh, but the room on the other hand is a lot smaller than where we were last night. Like yeah. a lot, a lot, a lot smaller. So um, your money basically goes towards the, the 500 yen more that we paid. This one was um, 500 yen more? No, this one's 500 yen less. Oh, okay. Um, so that 500 yen went to square footage. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was a lot bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera here. This is in the corner of the furthest corner of the room. And uh, as you can see, we've got two beds, a TV, and a shelf with some stuff. And a, is that, Oh, it's just the edge of the bed over there. And then there's an air con unit up over there. But the, the distance that you've got in here is very small and then when you come over here this is like the area that we've got for baggage which is also very small like there's not a lot of room for walking <laughs> and then we've got like a table here and then the ginkan area and then a little area over here oh wow it got really bright the, that light does that on its own and then a door like that's the whole thing and then Katie has to come help me illustrate the bathroom size. Mm -hmm. So we go into the little bathroom. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me back up. Oh, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> you go in the bathroom and it's one of those plastic Japanese bathrooms. And I just want you to come in here and I'm going to stand in the tub. <laughs> All right. And then I'm going to stand up. And this is the situation in the tub. <laughs> so, and it's like, it's terrible because of the, the way that this, this goes so small. Like, and then this comes in and encroaches even further on your tubbage. And I'm a pretty skinny dude. And like, it's still like pretty like narrow up in here. Um, but I mean, I would, I couldn't live here. Like if this was my bathing area in my apartment or something, this would be a deal breaker. But for a night, you know, it's no big deal. And I had to take this pole down because this pole lived inside of here. And I was like, I don't fit in here with this pole. It was already in there? <laughs> yeah, it was, wow. in there when I, it was in there when I sat in there. But yeah, it is, uh, it is compact in this little business hotel. And, and the only other thing that I can note. Can you back up did so we can get some hurt? light? Go over here. Did it hurt? Uh, yeah, it hit my What ink. did it hit? The, the sh my, my angel wing, what's that thing called? Shoulder blade? Shoulder blade. It got caught right on it. And the other thing is I want to show everybody how dumb I am. And I do not have uh, wise... Back up. <laughs> <laughs> this, is my, this is my normal pasty ass color. And this is my I was in the sun without sunscreen on my legs for the last four days ass color. And uh, it's not feeling real great. So I put a lot of aloe on here. And uh, hopefully by tomorrow it'll be completely gone and I'll be perfectly healed. That's how aloe works, right? Isn't that magic? Mm -hmm. It's magical. Let's put some aloe on it. I think it was Tussin. Tussin? What? Like Robitussin? We're going to be watching some Chris Rock. Oh, no, no. I'm doing Seinfeld. I'm doing Chris Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go back and forth. I think they're friends. They are. Huh? Yeah. So it works. Either one. I have come down to your level. I'm on my knees. Oh wait, we need to fix this. Okay, I'm, on my, I'm hurting my knees a little bit. You should have to come up to me, I think. This is how this needs to work. Stop this getting tall. Uh. Yeah, yeah, you literally got taller the moment <laughs> I got taller. What's going on down here? Look at this. <laughs> so this is the, uh, I finished another video.
So that's why okay. the surprise. Oh, oh, we had to do yeah. the end card thing. This is this is the new thing you do. Is you just come over and do this? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm fine. With okay, that. so I'm gonna do it this time. Okay. Twitter. Damn it! You got it. <laughs> <laughs> we got the Twitter. We got the. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Let's. See, I'll do one. You do the next one. Okay. 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 You did Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitch. We have a Twitch. Patreon. Yeah, Patreon is the big. That's the big hitter. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a YouTube channel. You're probably watching it. That is a cheat. <laughs> that is not even a thing. Um, uh, Instagram. I said Instagram. Dang it! Oh, and you have to drink if you repeat someone's. Drink what? I don't have a drink right now. But, um, yeah, that's, that's how you play that game. So anyway, we got a bunch of social media stuff down in the links and the stuff, and there will be I think one more video coming from the Biwa trip, and then we have a camping trip that we filmed, and that will be coming after that. And after that, I have no idea what's coming. We're gonna have to come up with something and film it. We went camping. Yeah, we did kind of. It's kind. kind of, we kind of cheated. Yeah, You'll it see. was a kind of, but it was fun. But um, yeah, the likes Frustrating on the, and fun. The likes on the video. <laughs> help the subscriptions on the video channel help and do, the comments do the handlebars the, yeah help? The, yeah as it's going in <laughs> <laughs> and then uh You're comments look like wario <laughs> tell me in the comments how dope i look Somebody said it's a Waluigi. I'll take Waluigi. Oh yeah, you're Waluigi. Yeah. yeah, you don't you don't have the. Uh, we got a subject to talk chunker, about down there. The now. chonkerness of Wario. Wario, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna yeah. get there. I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna grow them out. <laughs> mm, I gotta grow this out, and I gotta grow this out, and then yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. So yeah, just do all the things to help our channel grow, basically. And if you want to help support us directly, Patreon. Thanks, everybody. Bye.